Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2 Episode Number 2 Reaction. Okay, the previous episode we start with our crew now for me and um, you know our normal crew with an additional uh, member whose name is Rishia. She is here from the Itsuki's, Itsuki's uh, group because Itsuki has um, abandoned her um and uh, yeah like she is with us now she's been training a little bit and her goal is to go back to uh, its queen's party um a thing happened which was the uh timer for the wave stopped midway and uh, after going to a meeting with the queen the queen told them that um the spirit tortoise has woken up i think and yeah like unless and until we defeat the spirit tortoise um it will be a problem and she doesn't know whether uh the pausing of the timer is because of that but i feel like there's a big possibility of that because otherwise why would the timer suddenly stop uh, but i'm i'm sure we'll get to know the reason behind that as we watch more uh and uh, like the queen tells them the, the heroes to go and defeat the tortoise first but everyone was like ah we can't be bothered and they just go away but now for me you know like his uh like you know the spirit daughter is the place where the spirit daughters will move has her his village as well where he has become the lord that is uh raftalia's village uh -huh. and uh now for me it's like all right we'll have to do it then and uh, yeah now uh to get more stronger rishia became now for me slave because it was something that was needed to get an increase in exp and um yeah that's another thing that happened and we can see that's like another you know, reason why uh you know like not the reason sorry we can see that she is very determined to get back to um the party to itsuki's party like even becoming uh like you know now for me slave as well so that was that and uh we go to um the uh, spirit total kingdom and uh, people are like and there's like a random person who's spreading rumors about it and uh, a lot of the familiars start attacking and now from uses his rage shield again and uh, he's able to drive away the monsters and uh rishia and, and, the, and or they are able to uh, put the people evacuate the people um, and, and during that time someone comes up i think that's a lady she says yeah that was a lady she says that oh you need to kill me now we don't know what's happening and i'm sure i'll get more explanation in this episode so let's see what this episode brings this is episode number two of the rising of the shield hero season two so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one yep Oh, the side effect of the wrath shield or the rage shield sorry hmm. and there she is Yeah, like, please elaborate. What the? Is that which? What happened? She just disappeared. All right, we heard the opening in the previous episode as well, but yeah, let's see it properly this time. <clears throat> okay that's the spirit tortoise i'm guessing these two will be back again okay the sight and the opening is really good okay so we can see a few new characters here
Okay. This girl is the one we saw, I think. Okay, this is a new character. Another new character. These are all new characters. All of these new characters. This, this lady we know. All right. Hmm. Destroyed the capital. Border town. Lights of them. It's taking a nap. Okay. Are these the leader of all the kingdoms? Oh, these are the different kingdoms, I'm guessing. Can't afford to. Hmm. Oh, no, never mind. Nafum is there. Oh, wait, no. What? Why is he. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, people have seen it will be able to tell. There you go. There you go. Ah, uh, but the three of them are not ready to... Hmm, okay. True. <laughs> All right. Okay, it came into a proper discussion, I guess, understanding. Oh, the old lady. Eclair. That. No. Oh, this girl is a Claire. Oh, okay. Nice. Stop training the soldiers. Yeah, she's in, in the village. So who is she? Her name is Eclair. <laughs> oh. oh this is that girl oh guns under the Oh, the seven star heroes. Okay, never mind. I thought, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, just like glass. Um, I forgot the other two's names. Yeah. Other heroes, okay. Hmm. What happened? Okay. Oh, she knows her. He has suddenly disappeared. Lady? Wait, the queen? No. Oh, 
All right. Wait, so, okay, so she's the king's, okay. World things. Wait, what? Whoa, wait, she's a, yeah. Yeah. So she's like a high level one or something? Wait, they don't know? My job was a human time. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Which? Yeah. Rock the waves of calamity from a pen. Okay, that's why the time has stopped. Wait, so are they trying to help? This encounter is the fun. Oh my god. Oh, she probably failed. She needs to die? Still on the spirit of the... Oh, no, 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 okay. It will stop the world itself. Okay, that's what's happening. Wow. Oh, okay, never mind. Not of its own violation. Oh. Wait, so who broke the seal? Must be one of the heroes. That's why she said you need to kill me. Yeah, who is it? Is it one of the heroes? Due to the human element. How to? Yeah, why? Oh my god. Damn, this is like a double-edged sword. Which she knew him from her from before. She recognized her. Oh yeah, she's a concubine, that's why she recognized her. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay, it's not the heroes, never mind. One behind this and stop, okay. Densely, but okay. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh. Um. That's common knowledge, I think. Yeah. Anything else? Oh my god, yo! Hey yo, calm down, man! Yeah... Oh, she's come back! Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, at least she gave us a background to what's happening. Oh. Uh, oh my god, here we go. Well. Yeah. Okay, what? Great. Yeah, Nafim is like, this is just the same as the heroes. Everyone's just fighting with each other. Yeah. Yeah, like do whatever you want to alone. Thanks. <laughs> Nafu is like, I'm, I, I'm tired of this. Like, the same thing happens with the other heroes as well, you know? They just... Okay, I think this is the guy who's controlling the spirit turtles. <laughs> uh... I don't think that would have worked. Mysterious. <laughs> uh. <laughs> She's kind of weird, a little bit. <laughs> El Rasa. Declare. Hmm. That's why she's okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. I. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Lost the whole eye. What? What is happening? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy. Hmm. Yeah, that's true, you know. Yeah, they're just, you know. 
Yeah. But they're so like, you know, like... Okay, I'll talk about this later. Hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, that's that's a uh... Okay. What is that? Portraits, okay. There you go. I think... Oh. Ah, oh, no, no, that's a bit. Yeah. It's the worst plan. To lure it, to stop it, and then to cut the head. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh. She's like what? Okay. Probably. <laughs> oh. Okay. So. Oh, Claire, that's a Claire, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, those are the siege weapons. There you go. <laughs> Making food. <laughs> Look at Philo's bowl. <laughs> So big. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Wait, what the? What is that? Hmm, that's a sore topic. Yeah. <laughs> She's just so direct. Um... Oh no, she's gonna say something outrageous. Yeah, oh, look at the rough Talia. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously, like. <laughs> <laughs> Feels just looking at the thing. Oh! Oh no! It's woken up? 
It woke up, I think. The previous... Wait, that's the end. Wow, that went quickly. Okay, this is the ending song. It's a philocentric ending song, okay. <laughs> Fetal just getting bored little by little. Wow. I, I see Rafta is pretty tall. Wow, this is a really good song. All right, that's the end. Yep, that is the end. Okay, this episode, uh, we get more details on the spirit tortoise and what is happening. Okay, so at the beginning, we uh, resume from the previous episode. Uh, this girl, Ur, what was her name? Ur Hosted or something like that, I think. Uh, yeah, I I'll check it out again uh, when it comes. But yeah, this lady comes in and she's like, oh, you have to kill me. And then this weird thing happens, she disappears. Now, I, I understood now that like, what the hell that was after the episode ended. It was actually, um, I think, the spirit tortoise going to sleep. I think that's what happened. You know, and then in the end of the episode, again, the same thing happens, which is, I'm guessing, the spirit tortoise waking up again. This is just my guess, but I think that's probably what happened there. So, and I guess since she was like the familiar, the spirit tortoise probably recalled her back. That's why she disappeared in that moment or something. I don't know, but she suddenly disappeared and uh, yeah, they were like confused and they're like, what's happened? But okay, so then we go to a little meeting that's happening with the different, I guess, the different uh, kingdoms, I'm guessing you can call them. Yeah, the different kingdoms, like they're like talking. Like, I, I, don't, I don't think you can call them kingdoms because I guess you can call... Like, what do you even call them? Like, I, I know, like, Shield Freed and those are, like, kingdoms, big kingdoms, I'm guessing. But, so, what do you call these? Like, these are probably, like, small little areas or something? Or, I don't know. Uh, I guess this, you can call them kingdoms. Yeah, probably. Because, um, I'm still not so good with the actual political or, you know, like, the geographical thing. Uh, like you know situation of, of uh, shield hero. I'm not so like you know good with it I'm sure we'll get to know later on in more details about the different kingdoms and stuff But for now, I'm not that much proficient with it That's why I'll probably have a little bit of trouble while understanding what's happening to the different kingdoms But I'm guessing these all the different people we saw are like uh, probably the ones who are the representatives of those kingdoms like ambassadors or something they came here to talk with the queen and I can discuss what to do about the spirit tortoise. So, okay, so um, they say that after the spirit tortoise destroyed the capital, it's headed towards the border town before shutting down. Um, if the legends are correct, it will remain in that state for two or three days. So it's going to be asleep for that much time, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me, for that much time. And that's what they're saying. And uh, then they talk about how the spirit tortoise, according to the legends, the spirit tortoise only attacks densely populated area. So the next target will be low high rot. And this is merely a stop. So then they start talking about what to do about the spirit tortoise. It's so big, so huge. What? How do we defeat it? And um, like a few of the uh, i'm guessing the people uh the ones in charge they said some like stuff about like oh we don't need the heroes like you know our 
are like you know armies are enough for it and but the the person i'm guessing uh the one who was in the end who was explaining the situation uh, i guess that was like the one in uh charge of uh, the spirit tortoise kingdom because okay here we go he says that the, the, the guy in the end defeating the spirit tortoise by conventional means is impossible we need the help of the four heroes okay so i'm guessing he like you know he's like probably the one in charge of the spirit tortoise kingdom because that 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 place got completely destroyed and he was the one who saw that happening in front of him that's why he realizes like it's impossible to defeat that with mere armies they need the heroes here and the assistance of the heroes and uh, Nafum is like yeah like you know like i don't uh, care how you do it but don't get any dumb ideas about dying gloriously in battle i want to minimize the casualties like you know like it started with a very good way he was talking about he said like oh i don't want you guys dying but the thing that he adds in the end <laughs> rastelia's like why did you have to add that like, he says in the end like otherwise it'll interfere with our real job which is to fight the waves so <laughs> And Rafael is like, you always have to do this, don't you? Why do you always say like those final words which make this whole conversation, uh, you know, like makes you paint as the evil villain or something? And I guess enough when it became like this. After the whole betrayal in season one and the, the way he was treated, he's, he's, he's like this now. He always like, you know, just <laughs> acts like a bad guy, even though his intentions are definitely not that. <laughs> but obviously now Raftali and all of them realizes that uh, but unfortunately strangers they won't be able to realize they'll be like oh he's being mean but obviously that's not the thing <laughs> all right um okay then we go back to uh eclair we seem to meet eclair here uh who is i think the the uh, the 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 daughter of the lord or something I, like what was the name I, I forgot the name like you know the family that she comes from she she talks about her, later on she talks about how her dad died and uh, how she was not able to help in the waves so she's even you know, helping them out now um so she she's like the leader of that family now i'm guessing and, and uh, she's helping rishia and uh, raftalia as well in soul swordsmanship so she comes in and uh, <clears throat> she calls uh, Nafumi the saint. Okay. All right. So she comes here and she's like, okay, I came here to um, see what's happening. And uh, she sees the person, Orst, I think that was her name, her getting in. Now okay now here again inside the um, the tent or whatever where they're having the discussion the uh, the thing uh, the discussion about the other heroes comes up uh, they say the seven what heroes well, just a second seven star heroes or something let me see um the seven star heroes there you go now i, I feel like they mentioned this before as well i probably forgot but they talk about how these are these heroes are maybe isekai people being isekai here as well and there are also people who are people from this world not some other world so it's like a mixture there are a few of them who will be who has been isekai here and a few of them who are probably from this world and they also have vassal weapons just like we like you know like the heroes have and uh, like glass and all of them had as well so I cannot hear. They talk about how they're coming here now, and uh, Nafumi asks like, "How strong are they?" And uh, the queen says that they're likely weaker than you and the other heroes are now. And I'm like, "Okay, I could understand them being weaker than Nafumi, but then the other heroes as well." I'm like, "Okay, then that that means they're extremely weak, isn't it?" Like Nafumi is way above the other heroes. I'm guessing the other three heroes uh so i would have understood if she said like weak weaker than now for me but she even mentioned that they're even weaker than the other heroes that means they're very weak like we saw in season one how weak the sword shield and the spear are now currently 
Nafumi is like way above them. So <laughs> yeah, and Nafumi is like okay, better than nothing, I guess. Uh, I wonder if we're going to meet them. I, I hope we meet them. Um, maybe with the, with the characters who we saw in the opening, maybe some of them are the seven star heroes. We'll see. But I, I'm, I'm, I hope we meet them. I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing more of them, these heroes. Okay, uh, the lady comes in and uh, the queen realized who she is. She, she recognized her. And uh, because obviously she's the concubine of the place, the, the, the kingdom. Okay, one of the person sitting there stands up and she, she, he's like my lady like you know you're safe and now here um the queen says uh melora melora queen says she's the concubine of the now deceased king of the spirit tortoise kingdom there you go now deceased i guess i i'm guessing she he died did he die from the spirit tortoise incident or before that i don't know but she is the concubine, not okay, okay, N not the wife, but the concubine. I don't even know if the wife, uh, king had a wife or something, like you know, had a queen. I'm guessing he had a queen, so he's, she's not the queen, but the concubine. And uh, which obviously, like you know, like since this is like royalty, this in itself puts her at a very high position, you know. Um, obviously, she'll be at a lower position than the king and the queen. But from the other subjects, she's in a very high position. That's why I guess, like, you know, the, the, the person just stood up and she, she's like, oh, 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 my lady, you're here. Like, like, you know, treated her with respect at that moment. And, uh, okay. Uh, okay, she introduces herself. Her name is Ost Horai. Ost. Okay. And then she... <laughs> drops the bomb here she's like in fact i am a familiar of the spirit tortoise i've been lying to you guys sorry about it and everyone's like what <laughs> and okay so this is the interesting thing here so she is one of those familiars the monsters that we've met and she only took like a human form or something and uh, <laughs> the the one of the um, uh, spirit tortoise kingdom as well he's like what are you saying like is that true? <laughs> and she's like, I'm sorry, like, you know, like, like, I, that was, like, you know, me being like a human was a lie. And she talks about how she says, my job as a human type familiar was to get close to the center of the power <clears throat> and uh, use subterfuge to gather a minimum number of souls. So her main goal was gathering the souls. That's why she targeted the king, I guess. Okay, so now this part we need to properly understand. It was happening so quickly, I wasn't able to catch up with it. Alright, so she says, The task of my lord and the creator, the spirit tortoise, is to block the waves of calamity before appearing. Using souls as a resource. Okay, now here's the thing. When we listen to this part, it seems like it, it's trying to help us, but in a weird way. Like... It is, I guess you can say, helping us by trying to block the waves. But to do that, they need souls, which is something obviously they will have to gather from humans. So, it sounds good, but it's actually not good if you look into this whole situation. Like, they're trying to stop the waves, but not in a good way, in a bad way. So, okay. Okay, now I'm surprised. Um... Okay, she says, yes. Human types familiars, such as myself, were tasked with deceiving the powerful, forcing countries to fight so we could gather souls. And if that failed, most of familiars would be used to gather the souls gradually from all over the world. And if that failed as a last resort, the seed on the spirit tortoise itself will be broken. And it would stalk the world itself, gathering countless souls at once. Okay, so this is the whole thing. Now, interesting. So, I wasn't able to properly follow this part. Uh, so, what's basically happening here is she's saying, like, her job, like, you know, her job is, like, the first part. She's supposed to go to different places, uh, like, different kingdoms, kind of, you know, seduce them and make 
kingdoms fight each other have wars a lot of people will die souls will you know like be collected that way and the spirit orders i'm guessing is going to use that soul to stop the waves that because that's like his primary duty or something if that fails um familiars will come they're going to kill people and gather souls you know? and uh, it will go to the spirit orders if that fails as well the spirit orders himself will wake up from the seal and it like the spirit orders will be like you know what nothing work nothing's working i'll do the job and he will start stomping on the whole world de destroying like you know like cities and everything gathering souls so and like you know, eventually stop the wave from happening so that's basically what is happening here but this time there's an exception uh this time someone broke the seal without any warning and the spirit tortoise is committing destruction not of its own violation even if it can stop the waves there'll be no world to le left when it's true okay so this time someone broke the seal and is controlling it and it's like not doing anything out of his own like you know a violation it's just rampaging uh so it's not that she failed or it's not that the familiars failed in doing the job someone broke the seal basically and <laughs> when they say broke the seal the first thing that in my head went is like um ren i think it was ren wasn't it like you know Bri was it ren no who was it uh yeah i think ren uh, or like you know like one of the he uh, heroes broke the seal no no it was not friend i think it was the motoyasu the one with the the seed in the previous season <laughs> that thing is yeah 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 anyways one of the heroes like you know it kind of went to the heroes i'm like oh my god did they do something like, like this again it wouldn't surprise me if they actually messed up like this again but by the end of it we realize it's not those heroes it's someone else and we kind of got a little glimpse of that person as well you know it's kind of wearing glasses and laughing we also saw him in the opening so I'm guessing that is the guy who broke the seal. But uh, yeah, this is what's happening here. This time it's out of like you know, not out of out of his own violation. It's just rampaging, destroying places. And also is like uh, if this keeps going, the world itself will be destroyed. And like you know, like what what are we supposed to do with them? Like there'll be no world left when everything is over. So that's why I'm here to like you know try to warn you guys and help like you know, ask for your help. And that's why she's like, Shield Hero, please destroy my creator, the Spirit Tortoise. Okay, uh... Okay, now here's the thing. He asks, like, so, one of, someone broke the seal. Wait, uh, where is it? Okay, uh, she's like, the, the duty of a human-type familiar was to tell the no no wait let me let me go back again a little bit you said someone broke the seal um can anybody break it only i know the method or should know the duty of a human type familiar was to tell the full cardinal heroes how to break the seal okay there's another part that i wasn't able to understand when i was reacting to it let me read this part properly she says like the duty of the human type familiar was to tell the four heroes how to break the seal should they ever discover our plans and defeat us yeah and nothing's like why would you tell us that when protecting the world from the waves is no longer possible it is the task of the four cardinal heroes to revive the spirit tortoise and gather the souls to stop from appearing okay wait so damn so basically she's saying like i only have the knowledge of this breaking the seal and i'm supposed to tell you heroes the way to do that now if was like why he says like your duties your for the four cardinal heroes duties are to break the seal. like if a time comes when the waves are unstoppable your duties are to break the seal, uh, revive the turtle, and use the turtle to stop the waves. And I guess this is what F Fitoria meant by talking about the world or the people. Like, if you want to save the world, you'll have to sacrifice the people. For example, as we know, like, Spirit Tortoise is going to rampage completely and, you know, like, gather the souls, stop the waves. 
or if you choose the people then you'll have to fight against the world i guess i guess you can say the world being the waves and the spirit turtle in itself so something like that okay so here we go he says the world demands sacrifices from all life so this is what you yeah is this what you meant Victoria? so okay interesting damn so this is this is like a whole fail safe thing a device or something like that you know like if, if it's impossible to do uh, stop the waves normally just use a spirit turtle even if the spirit turtle is, is going to destroy the world at least the waves will be paused and something like that like oh my god <clears throat> yeah like this is a tough choice not even a choice it's like a weird one like to save the people you have to kill the people like damn not save the people wrong save the world to save the world you'll have to kill the people it's ironic because people itself constitute like make up a world you can say but if you think of it in that way people also like you know like, like the world can itself can survive like, you know without the people but the people won't be able to survive without the world which is quite interesting you know like the people are dead this world can survive but if the world is dead the people won't be able to survive like, this is the whole dilemma like to save the world you know like you know we have to take some drastic steps here and the people need to be sacrificed so either way it's yeah like either you defeat the waves on your own or if you need to take the help of the spirit turtle you'll have to pay a price okay all right so okay so she's like uh nothing's like you didn't come here to tell us to fight it didn't you and she's like of course i'll provide what advice i can to help you out find the one behind it and stop it and she talks about how like you know like in densely populated areas uh it's going to come <laughs> and that's why she's like he's going to come here and everyone's like we know that the legend told us she's like oh wait uh, okay i have a new one um <laughs> Okay, she says like, oh, you, you, you can cut off its head and then it'll die. And uh, they're like, yeah, anyone dies if its head is cut off. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, you know, because I guess she said that because it's kind of alien to her because she herself said that if you kill her, she's just going to come back. So for her, it's like a new information that, oh, you know what? If someone's head is cut off, he's going to die. It's new for her because if her head is cut off, He's going to come back to life either way, unless and until the spirit turtle himself, himself dies. So this is like a new type of information for her, and she thought that this is going to be helpful. <laughs> she just told that to the heroes, and the heroes were like, this is common knowledge. Not the heroes, sorry, the, the people there. And she's like, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm the one who's an exception here. I don't die when my head is cut off. <laughs> oh. oh god. And... Uh, yeah, and then he, she talks about how, like, even if you kill me, I'm just going to come back. Now, the people here start talking about who's going to be in command. Like, everyone, like, brings up their own thing. They're like, oh, we have this, so we're going to be the head. And the other part is like, oh, we have the siege machines, whatever. We are going to lead this, blah, blah, blah. Like, this whole thing starts happening. And, uh, like, you know, like, uh, uh, one of them is like, oh, like, the shield hero and the queen Melromark should be the leader here because... They're the one who's giving the funds and shield hero is also coming from there and it's just a mess completely and now for me it's like can you guys shut up like come to a decision um like you know i don't care if i'm the leader i don't care if you guys are the leader if you are able to give me proper orders i'll help you guys out if you cannot i'll take order myself so uh, uh yeah and he's like i don't care like who becomes a leader this that if you're looking like, you know, if you want to do this do this when you're fighting wars if you're fighting when you're fighting with other humans do this crap not during this time where like you know like so many people are in danger like you know like this is like a uh like a very catastrophic type of a danger one of them is gets mad he's like oh what are you saying like you know like um just stands up and often is like i don't care about your guys's opinion i'm out you know, like if you want credit take it i'm going away 
and uh, if i see you guys failing then i'm going to take charge and i'm going to protect my place and now here's the thing um it's kind of interesting because we again like you know this part reminded me of Fitoria's advice of working out with others even though there are differences in their opinion they cannot keep calm work out with them she said the same thing about the heroes and it's kind of happening here as well we, where we see naofumi again loses his school which i don't blame him for because he is riddled and like he's been like you know bombarded with humans nasty and cruelty and like you know their nastiness so much that he's sick and tired of it he's just sick and tired of it he, and whenever he sees some like something like this happening i guess it reminds him of the heroes and he is so tired of that he is just just goes completely like you know in rage mode and he's like yeah i'm out you know i'm not doing anything with you people who can't even work together so that, that's what i'm saying like i can't blame him like you know like just like getting um you know like um what do you call it mistreated like that from the beginning of this show and just uh you know falsely accused uh, made being made the laughing stock you know like like all the things that happened like you know like cheating blatantly in front of him like just mistreating him is definitely going to make people like this and uh, he actually needs a lot of time and to actually like you know become more tolerant for the others and uh, you know like I'm, I'm sure that's going to take a lot of time and uh, like you know like i guess this whole scene probably reminded him of the heroes and he was like oh my god this is just like the hero situation you know, they're fighting against each other for some petty reasons without even thinking of the whole like you know problem and he gets mad and he just goes away and uh, <clears throat> and again like i, I feel like, like you know he, he he's probably going to become more tolerant little by little and when he's able to become more tolerant you know like i feel like he would also be able to cooperate with the other heroes as well and victoria's uh you know like advice at that time will come like you know in fruition and it will be fulfilled like work together with the heroes like he, he needs to <laughs> increase his tolerance level because the way he was mistreated there's no tolerance level now he he smells like you know crap like this he's like i'm out and i have nothing to do with this <laughs> so yeah okay uh outside um eclair talks about uh, how we actually need the different uh, like you know like an army to actually fight we won't be able to do this alone and um, host comes in tells them to introduce themselves and they should introduce themselves and okay here we go uh eclair say <laughs> okay uh present lord of the territories of say and um Rafta is like Naofumi Sama is the ruler of the demi human area in Seayetta. Oh, so this Seayet is like a big place and there's like a demi human area, and Naofumi is the ruler of that part. So he's not the ruler of like the whole Seayetta. Uh, that name is very <laughs> difficult to pronounce. Uh, he's only the ruler of a part of it where the demi humans are. Okay, okay and uh, she i guess she's now like you know you could say like she's now in charge after her his her dad died eclair okay now here we go eclair son volunteered to train the demi humans in how to use a sword yeah i guess after she got the permission to be like the ruler of that place uh eclair came to the queen we saw and he probably asked that i need, I, I want to train them and she's been training rishia san and myself too um okay now she says my father died in the first wave and i wanted to atone for his failure to protect their village yeah of course i don't think it'll forgive anything okay so basically that's it he she is now the leader i guess of seat if you can think about it like that and now Fum is like the ruler of a small part of it and she's helping out the demi humans in uh, getting more combat abilities and stuff training them in hand probably like you know melee weapons and everything so and the girl is said like regent of the spirit daughter's kingdom 
Post Horai. That's her name. Okay, now for me is alone chilling <laughs> under the moon. <laughs> Raftalia comes in and she talks about how everything's so beautiful. It would have probably been more beautiful if there were lights on and the place was not destroyed. And she says how like you know these people are not bad people, you know, uh, these generals are not bad people. It's just like you know, like they, they also have things to think about, their homes, their family, and they're also concerned about it. And um yeah, like she says, like you know, now, like she talks, talks to Nafim and says that you should probably consider that. <laughs> and yeah, I also agree, you know, like I think Nafumi went a little bit overboard at that moment. <laughs> but I don't blame him, as I said, like, you know, he has enough with the bullcrap with the heroes. So he probably gets so mad whenever something like this happens. But he, I, I feel like he needs to get his tolerance level a little bit higher because now he's no, no more, you know, like uh, being falsely accused. <laughs> there's a lot of people who actually respects him so yeah and uh, Naf uh Raftal is like like let's um you know like let's come up with a good plan and uh you know like surprise them <laughs> okay now the next scene we see them coming with a huge army you know um <clears throat> okay here it is if the spirit tortoise goes to where there are lots of souls, we don't need to stay in town and wait, which is an interesting plan, you know, like, which is a very good plan, I have to say. They just took the people and I just can't came out so that the city or the place is not destroyed. Like, you know, and they're like as a moving bait, you can say. And these are all like trained individuals. So it's like there's no civilians here we can see. So, yeah, so this number will lure it out. They're going to pin it down and <clears throat> he's like, you guys don't need to fight it or defeat it. You just, you guys just need to pin it down and then we'll take care of it. Um, everyone's like, all right, like the, the one of the uh, nation, I think Haki, Haikazua says like, we will provide you with the dragon rider battalion to, uh, battalion to serve as a decoy. Uh, Low Hyrot has stationed every siege weapon. Um, and uh, then, like, you know, they see the fortress. Nafum is like, okay, we probably need to bring break that down. And he talks about how the like, you know, the mages, meteors can provide mages that will do it, but it'll only work once. And he talks about how, like, you know, if given more, like, you know, power to it, the people will probably die, but he'll be able to make more, like, you know, ma magic out of it, which reminded me of the Pope in season one, who was doing the same thing, sucking out magic from the others, and they're just dying. So obviously Nafum is not going to allow that. So Nafum is like, all right, we can use the bombs to destroy that uh, and we'll keep the ma mages for later use, not now. So <clears throat> that's the plan. And uh, so, and then uh, all the others, like, you know, Eclair, not Eclair, uh, Rishia, the, the old lady, Raftalia, Philo, they are going to, no, Rishia, okay, sorry, uh, Rishia and um, Orst, they are tasked with learning more about the spirit tortoise, where Rishia was a little bit kind of, she was like, eh, I'll have to do that, but she's, she's still in training, so I understand, she won't be able to fight. Now, so basically this is the plan, we'll lure out the spirit turtle with so many pe people, it's going to come out, uh, stop it in one place, uh, use the siege weapons, and uh, probably use the fortress as well to pin it down like just blow up the place and after the it's pinned down now for me is going to handle it now for me after Talia philo that's the plan so everyone's getting ready like you know they're uh rishia they're in the library eclair is in front of the bat battalion and uh yeah okay now eclair brings some new uh stuff for them uh, a new weapon, a new sword for uh, Raftalia, which is called Usain, Usauni sword. It increased her stats by a lot. I could see. My god. Damn. <laughs> like 150 to attack. <laughs> Beat 72. Wow. Okay, so Inult Claw for Philo. And Philo Kigurumi for Rishia, which is like the <laughs> the armor or the, the thing that she wears, which increases her capabilities. And she tries to kind of mimic Philo. 
He was like, I don't do stuff like that. I don't do quick quick. <laughs> so, okay, now here Oz talks to Rishia about, uh, you know, her, uh, like, you know, major goal of going back to um, Itsuki. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, oh, like, you know, you, you like him. I can give you more advice. And he talks about how, like, you know, she has seduced so many people, like, made kingdoms they like, you know, fight each other, this and that. <laughs> She's like, I'm, 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 I'm the master at that, so I can help you out. <laughs> this part was kind of hilarious because everyone was doing some random thing. Like, <laughs> Rishia was being embarrassed. Raftali was just talking, like, you know, looking at Naofumi when, like, you know, Otto was talking about that. Fila was distracted with <laughs> Rishia's outfit. <laughs> it's like some random stuff everyone was doing. Like, this, this place was, this part was kind of funny. Okay, then the whole place starts, like something happens, the spirit order is probably awake or something, I don't know, and that's where it ends. So, yeah, that was it. Uh, good episode. Uh, I'm guessing the next one will be something we'll have to, will we have to fight the spirit order? So, most probably, we'll have to pin it down and fight it. So, we'll see. So, uh, that was it. That's this episode. This is episode number two of The Rising of the Shield Hero season two. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. So, that was it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of The Rising of the Shield Hero. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.